Our special series on eco-friendly living continues this morning with the latest trends in architecture. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman takes us on a tour of some of America's greenest buildings. If you think you need to sacrifice beauty to be environmentally friendly, this home may change your mind. First and foremost, we wanted to create homes that people really want to live in. Oh yeah, and this you would. Home builder Steve Glenn has integrated the latest ideas in green architecture and design into this award-winning house in Santa Monica. Tried to make it zero energy, zero water, zero carbon. The tour starts on the roof, where most of the energy used to run the house is produced. This is the photovoltaics. This creates power from the sun, but it also doubles as a... Uh, as your canopy here. Exactly. I mean, usually you see these ugly solar panels attached to a house right. and that someone's trying to do the right thing but it's kind of ugly right and this you made it into a useful nice little shade where you can sit up here and enjoy your garden yeah the house also looks to the sun for its hot water this is a solar water heating system so this heats the water for domestic use generally like a day like today we're gonna get all the hot water we need from this and it's Southern California it's sunny most of the it time happens a lot after the water goes down the drain, it's recycled and used to irrigate the home's greenery. All the materials in this home are recycled or reclaimed or reused. This countertop is actually made from newsprint, cellulose, newspaper. Newspaper? Newspaper mixed with a bonding agent and sealed with linseed oil. It's, it takes a lot of heat, up to 350 degrees. Wow. Um, yeah, it's great. And check out the fireplace that doesn't need a flu. This burns uh, denatured alcohol, so it creates no smoke, actually. Oh and almost no carbon. This is incredible. This is a fire with no smoke. Correct. It's not just homes that are becoming more eco-friendly. This elementary school in Los Angeles has a green roof. A green roof is a conventional roof with about 4 to 18 inches of soil and plant material on top of it. Plant material tends to clean the air just by taking in carbon dioxide and producing oxygen. I do believe that more progressive architects, every time they begin a project, are looking at more eco-friendly options, green roofs being one of them. In New York, this recently completed skyscraper, which is home to the Hearst Corporation, has been hailed the city's greenest. It's a 46-story glass and steel structure sitting on top of an original six-story landmark structure. So the architect took the original structure, scooped out everything inside, and then we recycled those materials. Brian Schwagel, the company's vice president of real estate, says there's more to this Maverick building. When it rains on the rooftop, we collect the water, it goes down the pipes, down into a reclamation tank in the basement, 14,000 gallons, right? That rainwater then gets reconstituted, it gets refurbished back into the building itself. Some of that water is chilled and then fed into this waterfall in the atrium. As the cold water evaporates, it helps cool the building in the summer and adds humidity in the winter. But the greenest feature of the building, its windows. There's floor-to-ceiling glass, and that allows more natural daylight to kind of pour in. And by letting all that sunlight in, we needed less artificial light. So this building uses 26% less electric than a normal skyscraper. And this is no ordinary glass. It's specially made to let light in, but keep out much of the heat, reducing the amount of air conditioning needed. And though it doesn't look it, much of the building is recycled. The carpet is made of recycled materials. The ceiling is made of recycled materials. The chair itself that the people are sitting in are all made of recycled materials. Corporations are learning that it's not as difficult to be green as was imagined. So whether it's at work, at school, or at home, there are design ideas and innovations that can make your life a little greener. For The Early Show, Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Santa Monica, California. And tomorrow, Danny Sayo is going to show us how to make your home more energy efficient and eco-friendly and save money, too.